Hello everyone, how many things do you think your grandfather or grandmother tent when he had and you have 200 or maybe even 1000? We live in a time where we are primarily consumers but despite all the temptation of civilization, there are people who want entirely choose a different lifestyle. Dan Price, from the town of Joseph in the northeastern state of Oregon, has chosen his way of life by abandoning the joys of consumerism and living carefree in the woods in a makeshift earthen arm that he calls the Hobbit's Bro. Chris's apartment doesn't have a washing machine or any other household appliances we are used to. Dan does his laundry in the nearby river and dries it on a line. The only thing you could dream of when you're rich is creating a paradise for yourself. This house where I live now is my paradise that rich people could dream of. And indeed, picture skew forests, clean air but singing, no constant noise of the city romantic and hugs of solitude. But here is not a paradise if Benson one enters his home to Hobbit's Row through a small but massive door. The bro because the house was built by Dan himself inside the hill using forest waste, the whole construction cost only $75, most of which was spent on quick and fills or construction. Inside everything is so well thought out that there is no sense of lack of space, the room is 1 and 3 tenths of meters high, all he need is food, clothes and a roof over his head. According to Dan, this way of life has saved him from constantly worrying about money and work. He cooks himself the simplest meal from the oats, nuts and grains. Due to the lack of a refrigerator, there is no milk in the house so he cooks everything on water with cutlery. He has one spoon and one fork and one knife but our hero doesn't owe Cruz a scrap. He has a gas at home, electricity, cell phone coverage and even internet so he's not completely cut off from civilization and modern technology. Dan Price also has a job in tough times. Dan saw an ad in the paper for a position for a cemetery caretaker. For me, this job was kind of a revelation taking care of a cemetery is like being a monk. I like my job, I wanted it so badly. I started doing it before they even officially accepted me. I have been working here for 2 years now earning $475 a month and in 2 years I have felt some kind of a special bond with this place. Recently, the man has even become popular thanks to a TV report about his mother. He now keeps a journal with the photos of Moonlight chronicling his adventures over the past 20 years. The income from advertising is small for now but everything is yet to come. For Dan Price, the budget is sufficient because his monthly expenses barely exceed $200. For electricity, he pays $25. For network coverage, $35. And for groceries, $150. The rent for the land is only $100 a year. There is also room in Chris's life for sports to train daily. Dan has made himself barbells out of concrete in the last few years. He doesn't even have health insurance. He also doesn't own a car. He rides a tricycle or just walks. As Dan himself says, it saves him money and keeps him in shape. In 2001, he got a bike from a sponsor on which he rode 7,240 kilometers journey from Oregon to West in Florida is described in Chronicles. He's reluctant to spend money on new tools. So now when the old ones are worn out to the limit, does he buy new ones? People like to shop at such fairs or classified sites. They get excited about a newly bought thing. For me, it's the opposite. I always get depressed and when I need to buy something before. Dan built his brand he lived in Wawa before the colonists came here. There was not even a single piece of concrete, no telephone poles, no fences, no wires and no roads. And without all that, they were able to live happily here in harmony with nature. This start has completely changed the way I see life. Understanding that I am not going the same way as everyone else, I go the other way. No matter how we feel about people who give up the city life and choose a completely different way in seclusion and harmony with nature, they are the ones who consider themselves the happiest people in the world. If you like our video, leave a like and subscribe to our channel. That's it for now. See you soon.